Okay, thanks. President Obama has often pointed to Spain as a model for a country that has invested heavily in environmentally friendly technology. But now there is evidence that when it comes to the economy, going green actually cannibalizes the existing workforce. Correspondent Shannon Bream looks at the numbers behind the hype. And pretty soon we'll see more companies constructing solar panels and workers building wind turbines and car companies manufacturing fuel efficient cars. President Obama continued to talk up green jobs today as one of the strategies he's focusing on as a means to rev up our economy, while also reasserting America's standing in the global marketplace. Over the last several months, he's made a number of references to how our overseas counterparts are succeeding, while the U.S. watches and waits. Will America watch as the clean energy jobs and industries of the future flourish in countries like Spain, Japan, or Germany? And think about what's happening in countries like Spain. Germany and Japan, where they're making real investments in renewable energy. Spain generates almost 30 percent of its power by harnessing the wind, while we manage less than 1 percent. But a new report out of Spain says that if that country is any indication, Americans shouldn't be depending on green jobs to help the U.S. economy. Professor Gabriel Calzada Alvarez has released a study with startling claims about what's happened in Spain and what he predicts will play out here. Calzada says for every green job that's created with the help of government funding, 2.2 regular jobs are lost, and that only 1 in 10 green jobs winds up being permanent. With billions slated to go towards similar programs here in the U.S., the study is sparking new concerns. Well, it's an awful lot of money that's being funneled, and if, if uh, we don't pay for it, I guess we'll probably get some inflation out of it, or else we could tax people, and that will probably cost jobs. Take your pick. You can't get something for nothing. But critics of the study say it doesn't translate to the U.S. economy and that the dire predictions are overblown. And a lot of the critics have missed the point, acting as if this was sort of uh, all public investment to create government jobs. Nothing could be further from the truth. This is about the private sector, it's about innovation and business, and it's about putting the economy back to work. When asked about the study today, White House spokesman Robert Gibbs said he hadn't read it, but that if it had any merit, the U.S. wouldn't be so busy importing wind turbine parts from Spain in order to meet what he called the demands for renewable energy right here at home. Brett. Okay, Shannon, thank you.